Hi y'all, this is Daisy Cakes and I am trying a new screen recorder to see if it's a little bit more reliable even though we have to put up with some ads. I'm sorry about that, but at least it'll give me practice since I haven't earned ads for my YouTube channel yet. Let's see. Um, I want to show you this video to show you what I go through when I'm watching a video on YouTube because you should see when I say that there's stalkers in my video just remember that there's layers to video and sometimes they can and I'm not scamming you I don't know why the scamming video comes up are we saying that, that I, I wonder if someone's trying to suggest that these people are scammers I don't think that they are I believe that they're mentally ill people that are spun around and pointed at me by angry people that are angry about something that I, that's not rational and isn't explicable and then that means Hi, that the problem, the problem with that is that when these mentally ill people with mental illness are sent after people like me they usually have people with them that are keepers right they're supposed to keep them on task and help them take care of themselves and stuff which is an indication that they can't do that for themselves so then in addition to that because they're being weaponized and asked to harass people as they're older people when they're younger they're asked to be difficult in their classrooms and stuff when they get older they're asked to actually harass people but they don't think of it like that okay and for that, they're given a gift card to Chili's is $50 or a free tank of gas or a car lease or free rent or whatever. And the keepers then are supposed to make sure that they do this, right? But because what they're being asked to do is so criminal and so irrational, the people, the keepers themselves may be dangerous, violent, mentally ill, they may have kind of controlling type personality disorders that make them want to watch people a little bit sadistic perhaps or things like that and one of the couples and also that's one thing I wanted you to understand is that nobody in this situation that's harassing people is a healthy person some segment of them is given to irrational rationality and impulsive decision making however <clears throat> that's not the only thing I wanted you to understand they're running through a cast of characters in this thing okay so I don't believe in gang stalking myself this is not gang stalking remember I am not a suppressed person if I walked up to a stranger on the street they wouldn't automatically start treating me weirdly that doesn't happen to me in my daily existence. It's just these families, these three or four families from my old town that have people supporting them to move up here and bother me. And like I said, there's also a small segment of people that are A, in recovery, B, associated with working with people that have disabilities or are mentally ill, and C, let's see, A, recovery, B, mentally ill people that can't always decide for themselves what to do and C often are affiliated with education either higher education in some capacity whether it's Hellenic or um, alumni union or teaching in the public school system or private school system or charter school system any of those people can be part of these things now that doesn't mean it's a gang though you see what I'm saying because there's still there's still a familial link to someone that went through a financial transaction that displeased them so that's not gang stalking because it's actually a factual resentment you know what I'm saying? It's like causes belly, right? It's a real reason 
to be violent or criminal to someone. It's not a good reason. It's not a rational reason. But it is one of those evidentiary reasons that you can point to and say that is the cause of this. That makes sense. Okay? So that's you have to understand. All of these people, and there's not a whole bunch of them, but, you know, say 10, 15 people that are in evidence in the last 10 years have been acting against me because of some sort of factual evidentiary reason. Therefore, it's a crime that they can be tried for or convicted of. It's actually a crime where you can press charges and be arrested. It's not a mens rea thing. They're using people to smudge up the evidence. Like, like, like I always say, if you commit a crime, right? If you go in and you commit a crime and you leave the place and then you send a bull in after you to rampage around and destroy all the evidence and then run out, okay? Then the people that used to live near me would be the criminals and the mentally ill people would be the bulls, right? So I just want you to understand that that's the kind of thing that we're talking about. It's not a huge bunch of people that are like wearing white shirts and shining lights in the windows and everything. These are people connected to actual criminal acts that have to do with factual causes of their resentment. That means that they're not crazy and they can be tried for these things. And it's not even unusual for that to happen. It's like a family thing. It's like like that home episode of the X-Files, except for these people are not nearly that bad. And those people were actually, we're giving us a good example, because <laughs> those people are actually crazy, so they can't really be tried for their crimes. But let's see what it would be. Well, I'll think of a good example, and I'll say it later. It's an example of where one person's hate spreads to another person, spreads to another person, spreads to another person, spreads to another person. But it's not racism or ideology-based. Ideology it's based on an actual thing, right? Like if I painted my house red and they didn't like the color red, and then that hate spread to all of, to members of their family, and they all started committing criminal acts against me because of it, it would be like that. So that's the important distinction if you understand these things. It's... It helps me to understand these things. It's a kind of important difference between someone that's just a racist and someone who, like, is irrationally and criminally reacting to something that wasn't a crime in the first place but is an actual act, like me selling my house or whatever, etc. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play this video for you and show you all these things because it's interesting, and this is one of the things that they're doing to try to, to remove me from my creative acts for no reason other than this, like I said, that I paid in my house red or sold it for a lot of money or whatever. Okay? Cakes, and the camera is going to make me look really... Okay, some of these are me layered on top of someone else's face or my face suggested by malware. Some of these are a totally different person. And I'm not necessarily going to be able to tell you exactly which one it was, or although I can tell you who they are sometimes because I know these people, some of them. And you can you can see for yourself that what they're actually achieving in some ways is trying to remove me from my own work. But they can't really do that because I'm the kind of person that just doesn't... I'm not really given to being erased by people. Okay? Except for at a distance. A bigger distance than this. Okay, that is a totally different person. 
Not all these people are totally different people. Some of these are people from recovery. Most of them are equity type actors that have equity cards. That doesn't mean that they don't fit into all of those other categories that I mentioned at the beginning. So just keep that in mind as well. And some of you would be able to look them up for me and I would definitely appreciate that. And if you do, then please send them to your local law enforcement. Because this needs to stop. I don't need any kind of, like, I don't want their mental health treatment. I, I have refused. I said do not treat because they are not treating me for anything I've been diagnosed with. They are just sort of randomly throwing things at me sometimes. Like I said, they want to treat me like their mother. They want to treat me like their daughter. They want to treat me like they're taking care of me or I'm taking care of them. They want it. That includes treatments of things like, um, what do you call them? Homeopathic things that they, you know, incessantly, they incessantly attempt to change how I do things in my daily life, I guess I would say. But that's a long story. Okay, see? Some of these are me. But remember, you see all these health insurance ads and the, like, CHIP ads, the Child's Health Insurance Protocol. There, I have not ever used that for my children. My ex-husband has never used that for our children. He works for one of the top three companies in the United States, not even healthcare, y'all, just straight up top five companies in the United States. They have a GNP bigger than most countries. Okay. And he does not need health insurance from the government. So he doesn't, he shouldn't be using that or using his children to obtain his own health services. And not only that, he shouldn't be they shouldn't be involved in having opinions about what he does in any way, shape, or form. This is the other stalker. Okay. Like I said, this has moved to another generation of people in general, which still doesn't make it gang stalking because it's based not on some kind of like governmental thing or psychiatric weaponizing. I mean, it's not based on the reason isn't some sort of like psychiatrist taking offense at something. It's based on family hatred. Not by me, but, for, but of me, which is sad. Which is why you kind of notice sometimes certain similarities in these cases. There's one. Now they are layered, okay, and sometimes they try to sample in like the doctor people to elicit things because they don't like those people either or they think there's a problem or whatever. Sometimes they're actors. Sometimes they're trying to elicit something from someone else that's talking to me or something like that. But that doesn't matter. What we're trying to do is solve this problem. The cat may be about to knock over my roses, so if you if you hear a crash, that's what that is. It means nothing. That is not me. See the contempt? Not me. Like I said, sometimes they're equity actors. These people have money, like I said, even though I'm trying to figure out the money person. But they get paid so they can work equity hours and equity pay. 
and they can do these things where they just get dressed up and sit and mouth nonsense, make faces, and then it gets sampled in later. See that? They may be children of people in recovery or things that meet these qualifications. They may have been told lies about me to make them hate me also. But that still doesn't make it gang stalking because it's based on some sort of non-factual injury that these people believe to have suffered from me. Do you see the difference? Okay, let's go back to the video. Nope. Listen to the words. I want, you to see, real estate. I want you to see how this person is coordinating their malware based on what I'm saying. Okay, so it's actually something happening in real time. This is real time kind of like, I don't really call it. I don't need oversight for my videos. It's real time snooping. That's what I would call it. I did well on it. But it's not only snooping, it's snooping combined with having opinions and then acting on them in like a split second impulsively and irrationally. So far. Sort of. Because I was literally attacked and I have video of it. Yeah, let me make it full screen so you can read my way. Uh, That's true, y'all. I mean, I can go through and talk about all these things later. That's not the point. But the point is, is that this guy, my neighbor, used to drive around in a fake police car and when he would think that I was interested in someone, he would pull them over in front of me and make them get out of their car and stand there. Not to identify me, because I would have already passed them. So this would be way in my rearview mirror. And he would be giving them a ticket. So. But he would be leaning over them as they sat in their cars. So it wouldn't be like he was trying to point them out to me or anything. Which is really, really upsetting because it meant that somehow he was not paying attention to my words because I don't believe in things like that. But he was keeping abreast of my trends on Facebook, on Twitter, etc. So that he knew what he thought I wanted and then he acted on what he thought I wanted. And I have never even had any kind of significant conversation with him whatsoever. I only ever talked to his ex-wife. So that's crazy. But it is true that he would follow people around in a police car and arrest them or make them get out of the car. And he would write tickets, pantomime writing tickets, and wear police uniforms, and even sometimes carry weapons, tasers and pepper spray and even sometimes guns. And if he was a real police officer, he didn't really seem to actually, I don't know how to explain it. Like when he goes to police funerals, he wears old surplus type uniforms and drives his plain clothes car and his uniforms are faded. He doesn't wear a hat, things like that. So he might be trying to get disability or, or, you know, mooch in some way that way. But I hope not because that'd be really sad. Okay, so let's go with the with the words and listen to what you're saying. What I'm just saying. Where okay. just in case something happened, which I do have to go back to work now, so I will. But anyway. Oh yeah, I've never gotten disability for for working. I've never taken unemployment. I honestly don't believe in government aid. I've never filed for welfare. I've never had health insurance. There's no, um, nothing I've ever done indicate would, I can't even tell you. Like, I don't like to do that. So I don't do that. And all of these things are probably to do that. That's the only thing I can imagine is that not only is it based on hate, but it's of me personally is based on theft, on federal crimes and theft, blackmail, extortion, intimidation, and um, confinement, basically, of me. And 
civil confinement, which is 100% illegal. So these shoes ended up by my, uh, in the, yeah, that was my weird. Door. Okay. Together. That was weird. But let's see. See, when I'm saying something that they think, this is why I know that they're mentally ill. Is because when I say something that they think is crazy, they don't mess with my face. Which I don't understand. I just have noticed that. It's something I have noticed. Is that when I say something that they like, they don't mess with my face. Which is weird. Apartment because if I, did nothing, if I did nothing all day but say things that they liked, I would sound like an absolute insane person. And I'm just not. So it's sad. Missing. More will be revealed, though. I keep asking. I asked for me to see the faces of my stalkers, and I saw them. I do pray a lot. I say I'm not religious because I'm not religious, y'all. But I do pray a lot, and I do have a higher power of my own understanding that I call God, and that's what I mean. It's not like a God, like a miracle or anything. It's just technology. But still, I saw them. And, you know, you have to be willing to believe that what you're seeing is actually happening, which yeah, so what I'm saying is that if you think about it like ants, okay, the ants are inside the ant hill, but if someone steps on the ant hill, the ants run out. Someone has stepped on the ant hill, okay? I don't know if it was me with something I said or them making changes just naturally in the course of events or whatever, but the ants are running all over the place right now. So I'm seeing faces that make sense based on, like, I'm, I'm, I've been inside basically since coronavirus because of my immune deficiency. I've been more on Zoom talking to people and that's a selective process, right? I choose who I talk to and they choose who I see on Zoom, right? The person I'm talking to on Zoom decides, like, you know, it's a, it's sort of a selective thing, but now the ant hill's been stepped on and there's a whole bunch more stuff happening and I'm noticing it sort of in a natural process of becoming more part of the world again. So that's all I was saying is I asked to notice things and I started noticing the right things at the right times instead of just sort of being only self-centered and interested in myself from coronavirus necessarily it's hard for y'all i'm sure and it's hard for me too but i'm living it and i can reach out and touch these people if they're in my room wait that's my normal so i know that they're here for real and i would tell you about all the well damn right these people like i said they want to use gang stalking tactics on you so they even though they're just like a small group of people they have this kind of weird thing that they do where they tell people to make gestures and all this stuff. And as far as I can tell, I don't get into it because I don't really have delusions of reference. And they do. It's like, and they tell people to believe in those delusions of reference because they want to engage them in their language, which is a crazy language in order to teach them something and because people are trying to figure out why they're acting so crazy and they're telling them to act crazy too they go ahead and follow them down the rabbit hole of trying to understand the craziness and i also understand what they're saying is like a language for them to speak you know like the number four means this or the number two means this or this day is important or this character is my id or whatever but I'm not going to get into any of that because that just gives them a microphone and I have things I want to say. So, um, I asked to be able to see that and I saw that. Now I'm asking to find out who the money person is because there is a money person. There really is, guys. It's their pain. These people are not paying their own rent. Well, I don't know about that, but they're not. They're getting perks for something. And I don't mean these people, like a whole bunch of people. I mean, the specific people I've mentioned that are actually functioning in such a way that they are spun around and pointed at me. That's all I meant. 
when I cut off, when I fired them, and it's just See what I mean? They're getting angry. I don't know how to explain it. It's like even these guys don't seem to want to be doing what they're doing. I'm enjoying talking to y'all. And I'm being earnest about what I'm saying. But they look like they don't really want to be here at all. And they're part of their job as an actor is to give negative emotions to what I'm saying because I don't feel I don't it's not that I don't feel negative emotions. That I'm a professional communicator and I don't convey, I usually don't convey anger or sadness or contempt or negativity in any way, shape, or form. So that guy, whoever that guy is, his job is to look, see, his job is to look angry or bored. Because in micro expressions, he adds frame by f for every other frame, he tries to make it be a negative, which is why I call it out because it's kind of interesting too. And besides, I mean, they're getting paid to do this. So they're equity actors. They probably don't know such thing as bad publicity. I'm sure they probably like doing this. Not me, y'all. It's kind of me. Kind of not. I just know my own face, okay? That's not my face. But I can see why you would think it was my face. But it isn't my face. And some of these might possibly even sort of fool my kids. But I really think at this point it's possible that my kids are in on it. Just based on the mock apartment itself. Because don't forget, I have a photographic memory. My daughter has a photographic memory, and I really just don't believe what she used to, and I really just don't believe that she would be, that I just, there's just too many things in that mock apartment that weren't in the U-Haul truck when it was stolen, and so I'm really thinking that maybe that's a thing. That maybe they advised or somehow, but if that guy was really great, really mentally ill, then possibly he didn't, I don't know. Like I said, it just depends. Are you going to blame everything on the bull? Or are you going to blame everything on the thief? Or both? My kids could have been a bull. My kids could have been the thief. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm sure, That's well, like I said, more will flush out as it goes. You know, my mom died. I bought boots and sort boots and black pumps and cream colored pumps. So I had work shoes to wear just in case something happened, which I do have to go back to work now. So I will, but anyway. So yeah, they stole my recovery shoes. That's so nice of them. They literally stole from people that, from, I literally, it's hard to explain. These people literally stole from me when I had nothing. It's absolutely decrepit and disgusting the things they did. Okay, so let's see. He used to park his scooter outside my apartment. I have a lot of pictures of him. I call him Scooter Guy. And I have to keep, you know, my name short. Under to think. There's so many of them. Which I don't want. And it's just very odd. It's like they're. They think I'm their mother, they think I'm their wife, they think I'm like taking care of them, they think they're taking care of me. They're creating traumatic situations that they then try to help me out of or make worse and then try to save me from like the cat. Every time I try to report the cat missing to the city, he shows back up again within three minutes. Just of me opening the website and typing. That's mostly C. I don't know why he does stuff like that. I don't but he's still... Because it kind of blocks his camera sometimes. A little bit. For my kids and RB. It's already been almost 25 years. Like I say, it's the golden anniversary of me. I know, it's insane. 
to the city, he shows back up again within three minutes. Just the here with a, with a scooter, and he's going to be in the bathroom when I open up my door. But I don't want to go missing either, y'all. Okay? I mean, I'm pretty vulnerable to these people. True. Yeah. I have a lot of pictures of him. I like, a scooter back. But I have a lease, and I like my lease. And they're not doing anything that they could do to anyone else and be okay. That's my barometer. Is if if it's just me and they did it to someone else and that person wouldn't mind, then that's one thing. If like more people would mind than not, then I don't need to move right now, is my view. And he's the one that has shaggy brown, medium colored hair, like Sean Cassidy. I've already described him right. Okay. So let's see this. He sticks it up in my window, in the corner of my window, a lot. Like yeah, he does. But he hasn't been around for a little bit. I figured eventually, if he stole the scooter money, that he would then sell the scooter to get cash. But, um, and his scooter hasn't been around lately. I don't really look people or try to track people or even notice people I do have video of the scooter pulling into the parking lot in the back of a video that I was doing for a delivery and so I do know what the scooter looks like but I can't say that I have really paid attention to where the scooter is now okay that's not the point he's parked here he sets it up on his little scooter and points it in my window I'm saying he I'm saying he parks up against my air conditioner. Okay, I'm not saying he parks in the parking lot. There are people who park in the parking lot that sometimes are a little suspicious about it. But these people are parking up against my air conditioner on the second floor with a with a scooter. Okay. When they don't live in my apartment, but they're trying to tell someone, give the impression that they live in my apartment. But you cannot, but he's a bull, okay? He's not the thief. He's a bull. And the bull's job is to distract and obfuscate and kind of dilute people from keep paying attention to the thief. So don't forget that. You can't, there's not... People that are mentally ill think that, okay, people that are mentally ill think that if you have a bean bag and you toss it to someone, it means that you never held it, okay? Or if you have a bean bag and both of you, let's say you have a bean bag and you hit somebody with it. And then you turn around and you say, hold this with me. And you grab somebody's hand, you put them on the bean bag. They think that means that person's guilty of hitting the person. Because in their mind, if they can get rid of it, it didn't happen. So don't let people, with all these faces, distract you from the thief part. From the instigator. From the person that had the ability to stop people from acting this way and didn't from the rational people involved in this. They aren't usually the people that end up getting in trouble. So I think it's really important that we focus on the people that actually know that they're doing something wrong, are deliberately doing something wrong, and are continuing to do something wrong in the face of mounting consequences, okay? What here is mentally ill. And I'm sure those records could be subpoenaed and stuff eventually if it gets that bad. That's why I keep saying it is because I don't want it to get that bad. I don't like to have consequences for people. And in Nacogdoches, they usually don't prosecute people for stopping. But, I mean, this is getting pretty serious. It really is, y'all. So, anyway, but all of it can be coincidence. So I asked for me to see the face. They also brought him dirt things into my room, which I don't want. 
I don't know why the hell they keep doing that. It's crazy. It's probably it was insured from the post office. So hopefully, just remember, people that bring things into your room take things out of your room as well. If they feel entitled to come in, they feel entitled to do other things eventually. You know, they might come in and stand in your room at once. They might come in and stand in your room twice. But eventually, they're going to do something in addition to that, like take your cat or poison your cat or put something in your fridge or take something away from your desk or whatever. They're not coming in just to stand in the, in the room. They're coming in to do something. And eventually those tasks will become more and more complex in their brain. They'll tell themselves they have to. And then, you know, that's what's been happening. Because people who should be stopping them aren't stopping them. And that's what I mean about the keepers not really being responsible either. The post office will and I don't mean keepers like a book character or some kind of mythical creature. I mean someone that's put in charge of someone that they're asking to do some. They ask people to do things because those people are vulnerable and probably won't get in trouble for them. But whoever is making sure that they do the right, they do the right thing that they're asked to do is what I call a keeper. So the bank replaced it because it was stolen from the bank as well. I mean, it was a, a registered. Hello. Here in front of my apartment. So I'll show you sometime. I yeah. See, they change my mouth when I'm talking about things that they don't want me to talk about. It's really kind of funny. Okay. Oh, I mean, it was a, 